click OK. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Kristen, and we're here with more Clifford. This is Clifford Reading. To start the game, I hope you enjoy. Okay. Be sure After to give this video a thumbs name. up. Leave a comment down below. Do you remember this game? Did you play Clifford growing up? Let me know. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box if you'd like to see other classic games name, on this channel. I have playing, a Twitter and okay? Instagram you can follow, a streaming channel, and a Discord server with the kindest community on the internet. Invite links down below. Come hang out and say hi. All right, let's begin. Enjoy. Before we can get going, you need to type in your name. Then click OK. Choose a level and we'll be ready to play. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. Clifford loves Birdwell Island, and you will too. There are so many fun games and people to visit. Clifford loves helping his friends, <laughs> even if things sometimes go wrong. Oh, see the prize tickets? After helping his friends and playing games, you get a ticket. After you have six prize tickets, you and Clifford can visit the prize booth to get a Clifford surprise. You can keep stuff that you earn here as you play. This bookshelf is where you can keep the books you'll earn. In the toy box, you can keep prizes that you win. If you click on any letter of the alphabet, you can hear a mini lesson on that letter. If you click on the map on my wall, you'll be able to visit different places on Birdwell Island. Before we explore the island, let's play with some letters. This will make the games more fun for you. Let's learn about these letters. It's the letter E. This is a capital E, and this is a small e. The letter E stands for the eh sound, as in elf. Let's say eh, eh. Another word that has the eh sound is egg. Ready for another letter? Here it comes. This is the letter J. A capital J and a small j. The letter J stands for the j sound, as in jam. Can you say j, j? Some words that start with the j sound are jet and jug. Time for the next letter. This is a capital Q, and this is a small Q. The letter Q and U together stand for the qu sound in quilt. Can you say qu? qu? Some words that start with the qu sound are queen and quack. You're doing a great job listening. Here is the next letter. It's the letter V. Here's a capital V. And here's a small v. It stands for the sound v, as in the word vest. Let's all say v, v. Other words that begin with the v sound are van and vase. Here's another letter. It's the letter W. This is a capital W, and this is a small w. The letter W stands for the W sound, as in wagon. Can you say W? W. Some other words that have the W sound are wet and wig. Ready for another letter? Here it comes. Now, here's the letter Y. This is a capital Y, and this is a small Y. The letter Y stands for the Y sound in yarn. Can you say y, y? Some words that start with the y sound are yes and yam. Here are some letters that we know. W, E, Y, J, V, and Q. If we put an E and a T together, it makes the sound et. So we can read these words. U, et, wet. J, et, jet. If we put the E and the N together, it makes the sound N. Then we can read these words. N, hen, p, N, p, 
pen. Here are some words that we can make now. Th, an, van, qu, it, quit, y, s, yes. I'm ready to explore the island and see if these new words can help us. Frustrated. I can't think of any new pictures to put on my t-shirts. It's okay, Dad. I know how it feels. Don't you hate it when you get frustrated? Just be patient and take your time. Picture of a cat on a t-shirt. A cat? Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you, Clifford. Now that Clifford gave Dad an idea, could you please help him finish the shirt? Just drag the missing letter over to the t-shirt machine, then Dad will pull the lever. Ready? Now let's spell cat. Some more shirts. We're trying to spell bed. Bed. Great. Let's make some more shirts. Let's spell the word net. Mm. Net. I like that shirt. Let's make another. Now let's spell pet. Trying to spell jet. Jet. We made five terrific t shirts. Great job. That was really fun, and I think Dad really appreciated our help. I sure did. Here's a prize ticket for you. After you've collected six prize tickets, you can use the claw machine to pick a prize. Right now you don't have enough, but keep playing and come back when you've got six prize tickets. such a bad mood. Lucky is one big crabby dog. Well, not big compared to present company, but he sure is crabby. It's because he's hungry. Well, it is lunchtime. <coughs> That's Clifford's way of saying excuse me. You're excused. Clifford wants to help. He likes to help, especially his friends. Clifford would like to take Lucky's place while Lucky goes to eat lunch. Dunk the big red dog in the water? 
We're talking big splash. Tidal wave. Please. <laughs> well, okay. But the ocean will never be the same. Here is how you play Dunk the Dog. First, I blow up some balloons. S. H. E. She. M. I. S. T. A. K. E. Mistake. When the game starts, you will see balloons like the ones I just blew up. Let's pop the balloon with the word sat. That was super. Now, pop the balloon with the word men. Nice work. Try to pop the balloon with the word sip. That's right. Let's pop the balloon with the word sad. That's right. Now, pop the balloon with the word net. Yes. Try to pop the balloon with the word met. Great job. Let's pop the balloon with the word rug. That was super. Now, pop the balloon with the word run. Nice work. Try to pop the balloon with the word she. That's right. Let's pop the balloon with the word mistake. That's right. Thanks for helping us out and cooling us off, Clifford. Here's a ticket. Thanks, Mr. Darnell. Click on me to read the book to you. Click on the microphone to record yourself reading the book. Click on play after you've recorded yourself to hear what you... Where is Clifford? Where is Clifford? Clifford is not in here. To color this in, first choose a paintbrush or paint bucket. Where is Clifford? Clifford is not in here. Where is Clifford? Clifford is not there. Where is Clifford? Clifford is not there. Is Clifford here? No. Is Clifford here? No. Where is Clifford? There is Clifford. He is out in the sun. This is fun, fun, fun. Clifford's box. Clifford finds a box. What is in the box? He taps on the box. He raps on the box. He pats the box. He tugs at the box. He hears something in the box. What is it? Clifford
Clifford taps and raps, Clifford pats and tugs. Clifford lifts up the lid. He looks into the box. Out pops his dad. Out pops his mom. Out pops Clifford's family. Clifford hugs us. This is the best gift of all. A hot day. It is a hot day in the sun. It is hot, hot, hot. My pals and I get our caps. We go out. We tan, but it is too hot. We fan, but it is still too hot. We hop in the water. We nap. We are not hot. Clifford and the cat. The cat can. Can Clifford? No. The cat can. Can Clifford? No. The cat can. Can Clifford? Yes. I'm going to collect our prizes in my room, but we don't have any yet, so let's keep playing. If you'd like to hear... Here's the letter A. This is a capital A, and here's a small a. It stands for the sound a, ah, as in the word apple. Let's say a. Ah. A. Ah. Another word that begins with the a ah sound is ant. <laughs> Clifford's thinking of the letter B. This is a capital B, and this is a small b. The letter B stands for the b sound, as in bed. Can you say b? B. Some other words that have the b sound are box and bag. It's the letter C, a capital C and a small c. The letter C stands for the k sound, as in cat. Other words that have the k sound are cup and cot. Now, here's the letter D. This is a capital D and a small d. It stands for the sound d, as in the word dog. Let's say d, d. Other words that begin with the d sound are dad and dot. It's the letter F. This is a capital F and this is a small f. The letter F stands for the f sound, as in the word fan. Let's say f, f. Some other words that have the f sound are fig and fox. Here's the letter G. This is a capital G, and this is a small g. The letter G stands for the g sound, as in gum. Can you say g? G. Some other words that start with the g sound are gas and gif. This is the letter H. This is the capital H, and this is a small h. The letter H stands for the sound, as in hat. Can you say Some other words that have the 
sound are hen and ha. It's the letter I. Here's a capital I, and here's a small I. It stands for the sound I, as in the word ink. Let's all say I. I. Another word that begins with the I sound is in. This is the letter J. A capital J and a small j. The letter J stands for the J sound, as in jam. Can you say J? J. Some words that start with the J sound are jet and jug. Now, here's the letter K. This is a capital K, and this is a small k. The letter K stands for the k sound, as in kid. Let's say k, k. Some words that have the k sound are kangaroo and kitten. This is the letter L. This is a capital L, and this is a small l. The letter L stands for the U sound, as in leg. Can you say U? U. Some other words that have the U sound are lamp and log. <coughs> this is the letter M. This is a capital M, and this is a small M. The letter M stands for the M sound, as in mat. Can you say M? M. Some other words that have the M sound are map and mug. This is the letter N. A capital N and a small N. The letter N stands for the N sound, as in nest. Can you say n? N. Some other words that begin with the n sound are nut and nap. Here's the letter O. This is a capital O, and this is a small o. The letter O stands for the ah uh sound, as in ah. Uh. Can you say ah? Uh? Ah. Uh. Some words that start with the ah sound are octopus and ox. Let's play another game. Now what is Clifford thinking? It's the letter P. This is a capital P, and this is a small p. The letter P stands for the p sound, as in pig. Let's say p, p. Some words that have the p sound are pet and pin. This is a capital Q, and this is a small q. The letter Q and U together stand for the qu sound in quilt. Can you say qu? Some words that start with the qu sound are queen and quack. It's the letter R. This is a capital R, and this is a small r. The letter R stands for the r sound, as in rat. Another word that starts with the r sound is rabbit. It's the letter S, a capital S and a small s. The letter S stands for the s sound, as in sun. Can you say s, s? Some other words that start with s are sand and sock. This is the letter T. Here's a capital T, and here's a small t. 
The letter T stands for the T sound in top. Let's say T. T. Some other words that start with the T sound are ten and tip. This is the letter U. Here's a capital U, and here's a small U. It stands for the sound uh, as in the word uh. Let's say uh, uh. Other words that begin with the uh sound are umbrella and us. The letter V. Here's a capital V, and here's a small v. It stands for the sound v. It's the letter W. This is a capital W, and this is a small w. The letter W stands for the w sound, as in wagon. Can you say w? w. Some other words that have the w sound are wet and wig. It's the letter X, a capital X and a small x. The letter X stands for the X sound, as in ox. Can you say X? X. Some words that end with the X sound are six and box. Here's the letter Z. It's a capital Z and a small z. The letter Z stands for the z sound in zebra. Can you say z? Z. Some words that start with the z sound are zip and zoo. These are our neighbors. We call them our grouchy neighbors. Can you read the sign? It says, no dogs. Don't be sad, Clifford. It's not about you. They're just grouches, that's all. Clifford, stop messing up our yard. And stop blocking the sun from our plants. <laughs> Don't cry, Clifford. It's okay to be a big red dog. Our neighbors just shouldn't be so grouchy. This garage is such a mess. We should never have let it go so long without cleaning up. Now it'll take all day to clean up. We won't finish before dark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look what you've done! Don't worry, we'll clean up. You will? Yeah, and when we're done, your garage will be in order, and you won't have to work on it all day. How's that? Really? Tell you what, let's make it a game. That way you'll have fun. And we'll get the job done. That would be great. We need to organize all our stuff so we can neatly store it away. Here's what we need you to do. Place all objects with the beginning sound g over in this box, and all objects with the beginning sound l in this one. Log. That's right. Gum. Gum. Great. Lock. Lock. Nice job. Leap. Super. Gift. That's right. Lamp. We're done. Thanks for helping us. And thanks to you too, Clifford. You're a good dog after all. Woof, woof, woof. See, now that they know you better, they love you just like I do. Thanks for helping. Here's a ticket for you. Thanks. Let's go have some more adventures. Tell you it's dangerous to stand all the way at the top of a ladder? 
That rule is for other people, not me. Look! See? I have good balance. If I were you, I'd be more worried about riding on top of that big red dog of yours. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? What's going on down there? Kitty, no! Ah! Oh, thanks, Clifford. You saved me. You're a very good dog. Oh, no. My ladder is broken. Now how will I get all the letters down? Don't worry. We'll help you get them all down, okay? Clifford will knock the letters down one at a time with his nose. Using the mouse or the arrow keys, move the boxes to catch the letters as they're falling. This is the letter Z, and this is the letter Q. I couldn't have done my job without your help. Thanks. No problem. Clifford and I love to help out. <laughs> That's great. Here's a ticket to add to your collection. Come back soon. I can always use helpers. You've won a special bonus prize. A new book. I can't wait to read it. My dog, Clifford. I am Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. He is a big red dog. Clifford sometimes forgets how big he is. One day, Clifford saw a small dog. The dog dug a hole. Clifford dug a hole, too. That was a mistake. Clifford's hole was too big. The small dog went for a dip in the pond. Clifford went, too. Look out. The small dog hid. Then Clifford hid. But I can find Clifford. The small dog sat. Then Clifford sat. Oh, no. But Clifford saved the day. Clifford is the best dog of all. Now we know all the letters in the alphabet. Here they are in order. Can you sing along with me? A, B, C, D, E. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? My favorite big red dog. So big, so red, so dog-like. <gasps> Give me a kiss, Clifford. A big kiss. <laughs> like he could ever give me a small one. Come on, boy. How about just a big fat lick, hmm? Don't you love bonies? Thanks, Clifford. Pose for me now, okay? I want to paint pictures of you. You are my inspiration. Inspiration means Monique can do anything better when her friend Clifford is around. That's right. We'll have
help you. Click on the letters and drag them to the easel to make any word you want. When you're finished, click on the paintbrush. or less than A, B, C, D. Hmm, that's not a word. Why don't you try again? Try making a word that Monique can paint. C, A, G, E, cage. Fabulous! You are really good at making words. I don't know how to paint a picture for that, so I'll just paint this instead. Great! Four more words to go! Clifford, pose for me. Lamp. Good job. Now let's make three more words. A great word. All right, it's posing time, Clifford. Duck. Only two more words left. S T O P. Stop. Terrific! I am always inspired in big ways when Clifford is around. Stop. Can you make me one last word? R. A. K. E. Rake. Very good. I'm going to be creative for this one, since I'm not sure exactly how to paint that word. Wow, we made some really great pictures. Thanks for letting us help you with your art, Monique. I am always inspired in big ways when Clifford is around. Here's the ticket. Elizabeth, I am so glad you could go sailing with me. Hey, little dog, wipe off that frown. You can come too. Yeah, just swim along beside us. And thanks for bringing along some of your famous fish sticks. Oh, look at Clifford. He loves my fish sticks so much, he just can't wait to eat them. Clifford, it's not polite to beg. <laughs> Clifford, honey, oh, thank you. You saved my parrots. Good job, Clifford. You are one big, beautiful <laughs> hound dog. It sure makes Clifford happy to help people. I don't know what's wrong with that cat. Going after my poor birds when I had all these tasty fish sticks here. And now my poor birds are all mixed up. I don't know how I'll ever put them in order again. We can help. When you click on a parrot, you will hear what sound it makes. Find another parrot that makes the same sound, and they will fly back to the boat together. I, 
O X K K K E X O E E E X X I I O O Well done. Thanks for helping. And thanks to you too, Clifford. You're Loretta's favorite big red dog. Clifford's happy. Hope you're happy too. Here's a reward for you, honey. Click on the prize tickets at the bottom of your screen. Then you can put them in the slot on the claw machine. Once you put six prize tickets in the machine, you'll be able to use the claw to grab a prize. Use the mouse to move the claw right and left. When you want to pick up a prize, click the mouse and the claw will grab whatever present is under it. Masks of me, Clifford, Lucky, and Nikki. Those look fun. What a great prize! I'm going to keep it in my bedroom. You can click on my toy box anytime to color it or print it out again. But now, let's have some more adventures with Clifford's friends. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up this little brief gameplay of Clifford Reading. As you can tell, you're going to go around and continue collecting uh, tickets and earning more printable prizes. But I want just to give you a gist of the games within the activity. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below which mini game was your favorite. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Don't forget the playlist in the description box if you'd like to see the other Scholastic games on this channel. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone and you're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Leaving already? <laughs> That's okay. Clifford and I have had a great time with you on Birdwell Island today. Be sure to come back soon. We'll miss you.